if you have to make a number of items in different colors do you shop for your yarn in wholesale or do you shop for yarn per piece that investment by buying wholesale 10 colors in wholesale adding up with 50 pieces of canes or 50 pieces of you know balls of yarn in your stock and only using less than half of it let's do the maths and see which makes sense so guys hi i asked this question on my instagram for purposes of this video we are going to assume the item is a beanie and you have an order for 10 beanies and those 10 beanies are in different colors so you have to buy 10 colors to make 10 different beanies so will you buy your yarn in wholesale or will you buy your yarn at puppies that's a question from my Instagram question, this is how you guys responded. Ikoapa on the side somewhere. That's what you said. Majority will buy the yarn in wholesale. And fewer people say they will buy the yarn per piece. But let's put this practically and see what makes sense. So we've said we have 10 beanies to make. 10 beanies. We are going to price these 10 beanies at Kenya shillings um, 1,800. That is your selling price after you've incurred all your costs. So what the money you expect is 18,000. Let's assume you are the people who are going to buy yarn in wholesale. And in this case, we are going to be buying the Cillian. Cillian. So for me, I get Cillian at uh, 650 a pack for wholesale. 650. So we have 10 colors times 650, which is a pack. That pack comes one color, five pieces. That's the minimum you can buy on wholesale. So for 13, I mean, not 13, for 10 colors, if you go buy wholesale, you need to spend 6,500. Okay. Let's buy the yarn per piece. 10 colors, that is 10 pieces. I get my retail price per piece at 180 times 180. We are going to spend 1800. We're going to spend 1800 if we only buy per piece, and that is 10 pieces. Let's assume that this beanie is going to take one and a half, and so we need to buy 20 pieces. If we go for 20 pieces, we are going to spend 3600 for 20 pieces to be able to buy enough. For a beanie that takes more than one yarn. Let's do the maths and see which makes sense. So when you're doing business, you want to have some money in your pocket. You're receiving 18,000 as the pay for 10 pieces. When you do wholesale buying for your yarn, you're going to reduce this by 6,500 and that is going to be 0, 0, 5, 1, 1. You're going to have in your pocket 11,500 Kenya shillings after buying the yarn. If you go and buy your yarn for the 10 pieces per piece, and in this case we are going to assume you're buying two skeins of yarn per piece, Bini, so you're buying 20 pieces, it's going to be 18,000 minus 3,600, which is 14,400. Now, guys, buying yarn 
in wholesale for such an order is good but it is only good if you know for sure you have other orders you can make with this yarn that are bringing income in that case it makes sense because your return on that investment is there it's sooner it's 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 there it's available however if this is the only order you have then you're putting some of your money in yarn stock that return on that investment is unknown it will be there eventually but we don't know then when we are selling our items when we are taking orders it's because we also factor in how it's going to actually help us in our finances so you already know if i have this order i'm making this money i will be able to cater for the cost of uh the materials i'll be able to pay myself back for labor and i will be able to pay one of my bills that's in, in for me that's what i do and so having my money in yarn stock is not a good thing especially when it's from an order because i really need that money to be able to settle some of my bills so in a nutshell, from Womoyo, I would say when you have such an order, multiple items, different colors, I think it makes sense to buy puppies. However, you need to also audit your entire business to see whether that investment by buying wholesale, 10 colors in wholesale, adding up with 50 pieces of canes or 50 pieces of, you know, balls of yarn in your stock and only using less than half of it makes sense for you in your business. Otherwise, for me, I would buy puppies and be able to have more and be able to have more accessible money than more accessible yarn i don't know if you get me if you get me please let me know in the comment section i would like to hear from you why you chose to buy in wholesale and how that works for you and helps you in terms of your business because we are all different and we are all learning from each other so let us know in the comment section why did you choose to buy in wholesale how does that work for you? And what um, tips, lessons, and advice would you give to the rest of us who thinks in such an order, I don't need to buy in wholesale? I hope this video is helpful to you. If it is, please let me know. If you're here and you've never subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now because there'll be more of it. I'll share my challenges with you and we can all learn together and also figure out what to meet next together. And let's see you in the next video. I hope you have watched the one I released on Monday, my very fast, very, very fast market vlog video and see how all that went and hopefully it inspires you to get into the market um, for your needs and your crochet. Bye!